So guys, for the first method, you're gonna hit it with search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand keyboards. Now you wanna find your keyboard device, you wanna right click on it and then click on properties. Now once you're on this, you wanna to go to the power management tab. Make sure that you have allow this device to wake the computer ticked. Make sure that you tick this box and then click on OK. Repeat this for all the keyboards that you have. Also, you want to repeat this for mice and other pointing devices. So I'm going to right click on my mouse, go to properties, power management. Make sure that you have this box ticked as well. Allow this device to wake the computer and then click on OK. Repeat that for every keyboard and mouse that shows up in this list. See if that works for you. For the second method, you want to head over to search again and type in edit power plan. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on change of what's power settings. And then once this comes up, we're going to scroll down and you want to expand PCI Express. Now you want to expand link state power management. It's going to be saying setting right here. You want to click on the drop down. You want to turn this off and then click on OK. See if that works. For the next method, you want to head over to search again and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in power CFG space dash hibernate space off. Click on enter. See if that works. For the next method, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the next method, there's going to be three links down below in the description for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I've got the NVIDIA app. And now once you're on our software, you want to go to the driver tab. And now you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for your software. For the last method, just try doing a simple restart of your computer. Now hopefully one of these methods would have fixed your problem.